Hello everyone, this is a bit of a double take this, we just had a flock of seagulls <laughs> flying overhead. Uh, nice. We're down here at Kingswood with Paul. Hello. Not seen you for a while? Yeah, more for at least a month. What have you been up to? Just golfing and work. <laughs> Playing some good golf by the yeah, as well. Yeah, some good stuff. What was that, that text that you sent me the other day? What score did we shoot? Uh, two over, triple yeah. bogey on third. Crazy that. Yeah. So that was, what What handicap did they have you playing off that day? Eight. 42 points off eight. Beautiful. That's what we want to see, isn't it, mate? 35, 39 points on Tuesday. Mm. So yeah, scores are definitely um, on the way. Yeah, brilliant. And so uh, we just spoke off camera about things that we need to look at today, things that we need to work on. We've got a trouble shot that's like 120, 125 yard pitching wedge. Yeah. And we're going to probably gather some wedge distances as well and really tighten that aspect up. So yeah, yeah sounds good. Let's get into it. Big, big long high follow through, won't you? Yeah. Always so 
So yeah, I think I always try and get club Ed to catch up my hands. And you go get your leaving your hands just out there, aren't you? Yeah, big time. I'm just taking that to there. Yeah. That's that comes back to me in that shank though. Yeah. So yeah. when I get my hands out there, I always yeah because I'm pulling it well. behind myself. Yeah. Keep it done again. So you're leaving edges square. Yeah. And that's that weird follow up around. Yeah, just, yeah. just, just got that extension, isn't it? I'm going to show you peak height, peak height some shots, so this is interesting, so we saw 75 foot, 90 foot, 90 foot, 87 foot, 81 foot, 86 foot, yeah. spoke about making a bit of a dynamic loft change, so keeping that handle more in front of the head, last few we've had 68, 66, 68, 66. Massively lower, yeah, definitely lower. 20 yeah. feet lower, really. And we're saying it's not, it's not all about lowering height, although a lot of it is, but it's more about the control and stability of that club face. Yeah, I feel like with you, as soon as you are to add loft, you have a tendency to want to like close faces and stuff, and just, yeah, it gets weak, yeah. yeah, yeah, just like just lose control in essence, really, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. whereas you keep everything a bit more less lofted and a bit more, it feels a bit more compact from here yeah. rather than in it. <laughs> how, much, how much of a good feeling is that though, being compact? Yeah, that's when it, that's when it's good when I feel everything's connected. And yeah. just, yeah. But as soon as I get up here and I get wafty and I get up here and I get wafty yeah, and I yeah. feel there's nothing in that shot then. That's a way better fly like that. I like that little abbreviated sauna follow through as well. You know it's just helping you control your loft. Yeah. So again we look at the flight on that one there. Lovely and straight. Dynamic loft were down to 30 that time, so yeah. the dynamic loft was something, I, I think the flight scope has been a bit funny this morning, but we had uh, dynamic loft as high as 50 degrees earlier, which were a 45 degree wedge is a bit like, whoa, <laughs> isn't it? <Yeah. laughs> if we're adding, we're adding there, yeah, aren't yeah. we? I think if Mizuno wanted it to be a 50 degree <laughs> loft wedge, they'd just bent it themselves, yeah. so. But yeah, that last one down at 30, very much a control flight, and we also noticed that it was a total of 1.4 yard offline, so. <laughs> So we've got some wedge distances consolidated now. Big, big change that we've made in the wedge striking today. We're making sure that we keep that dynamic loft down. So if we, as we see it creep up, we see the high floated, like uncontrollable ones, don't we? Wedge distance wise, we're seeing 75, 358, 90 for your 54. Gap wedge is 105, full shots 120. That's all carry. So there's a good yeah. 15 yard in between each one. Yeah. Beforehand, I think your lob wedge was prone to popping up and losing a bit of distance, yeah. being like 65, 70. So. I wouldn't be confident to it like a proper, I wouldn't be confident that it'd go with that exact number, whereas today that little more compact swing is good yeah. as that number. And we're looking on flight scope as well and consistently we're hitting 75s and stuff. So we had like 74, 78, 76. It's all round about that number, isn't it? So. Yeah, it's just good that you know that's... Yeah, yeah. when, you, when you're striking it good, yeah. it's on it, isn't it? Brill. Oh, oh, more to add? No, I'm done. I mean, <laughs> Saturday morning lessons. Yeah. Well, 2020's gone mental. I know, and it's just been mad. We're fast approaching, like we said at the start of lesson, fast approaching the end at Toolbox now, aren't we? Which yeah. gets me all choked up and emotional a little bit, but the finale yeah. game is to be booked soon and arranged, so. Yes, the, uh, you have to have a challenge, some sort of challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to... 
keep it competitive, but I think there's going to be elements of it in, in there, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, right, thanks ever so much for watching, all you guys at home. Stay tuned for the next one. See you in a bit. Later. Bye. Yeah. What, what have you been up to? It's been a What on earth? <laughs> <laughs> Should we start that again? <laughs> Look at them!